I wanted to welcome everyone and thank you all for being here today and uh, celebrating this beautiful exhibit of Thomas Matthew Milan. He's a young artist, about 26, 27 years old. Uh, you, he has his journey there, his statement, and he's celebrating the 150 years of the Civil War celebration, especially the Battle of Franklin. You have the two presidents, the Union and Confederate, the leather frames are inlaid, very specific to items of the North as well as the South. And then we have the two generals the frames also have very particular um, rela relations to the north and the south. And then he did something a little bit more risque, let's say. He loved also Michelangelo, and he had the, the famous touching fingers with uh, the flags of the Union and the Confederate flag. And the last piece is not related to the Civil War, but it is an architectural piece. And if you can see it, it has a perspective and very a lot of detail. And here representing the artist is his grandmother Marie, his auntie Kathy, his daughter Alexa, as uh, you can see, even he's very young, but he has a beautiful work, extraordinary. I wanted to thank the city of Franklin for allowing us to, to have this uh, exhibit here today. And also, this is a special place to me. The reason why this gallery is called Fire Hall Art Gallery the fire department was on your, on your left at the time. This happened in September of 2007. Uh, Mayor Miller at the time invited us to five Latin American artists into the city hall, city of Franklin, and we offer to do this, um, this professional gallery for many Years, it was full of pictures, full of exhibits, full of art, full of life, and that special spirit. And we want to bring it back. So here we have it with this display of Thomas Matthew Millen. Well, he's just really interested in that Civil War and, and what all went on, and so. He just started doing it, and he's just really gotten into it, you know. He's always drawn. From the time he was small, he would draw pictures. He would sit in church and draw things, and then he's just, I've got little art pieces he's done all through his years, but he's just really gotten into it the last few years and, and is sticking with it and really developing his talent, I think. This is Thomas's daughter, and her name is Alexis, and this is Austin. Matt's his cousin, and this is my daughter, which is his aunt, Kathy. The lady, Cecilia, has invited us, and whatever she touches is a piece of gold. So you want to see it. And that's why we came. It's amazing. If this is a young man uh, making pictures of our history, it is mind-boggling to see that the person has a skill set, and as he rightly said it, it's a gift of God which he explores and shows us with his paintings. And these paintings are remarkable because they are very particular and very detailed and show actually the, uh, the strength of the person he is, uh, he is portraying. If you ever had made a mistake in your life, then you know the easiest way to learn from it is 
to learn from it. History tells you what mankind has done in the past, and we can learn from this in a manner which helps us to avoid mistakes for the future. History is the foundation upon which we are being created, and we should leave this world one day with a good conscience that we leave something behind for the future that our next generation will have what we had. I love, so I love history. I'm crazy about it. I'm, I've learned about it with my teacher. My teacher is Mrs. Cooper. I go to Sunset Elementary. I'm in fifth grade. And at the end of fourth grade, I had the same teacher for two years. We were starting on the Civil War, and I was left in suspense. And I, over the summer, I learned more, and now I know a lot about it. Well, I think it's important because you can learn what people have done before you, and you can learn from their mistakes to make the world a better place. I think it's actually very exquisite. I like it. It's nice. I've never seen anything quite like it, including the frames, the leather. It's very nice. I've never seen that. I've never seen that before. Number one, I wanted to thank City of Franklin for allowing us to have this reception and to have this young artist's work. It's uh, done in graphite, and uh, they look like uh, pictures until you realize that it's all hand done, stroke by stroke. It seems like the artist took uh, the pencil, literally, and did each stroke for the hair. Franklin is so famous for their battlefield, the battlefield of Franklin. And that's why in November 30th, we will be celebrating 150 years of this event. To think that so far, uh, so many years ago it happened. And uh, this young man, uh, this young artist, loves the history and uh, he's a Tennessean and he loves the history of the Civil War and this is one way of him honoring that history.